We talk a lot about cause and effect and how the universe is shaped by that. And one of the tricky things about cause and effect is it has this thing called time lags. And time lags can be very confusing. And so I knew there's no way I could talk about it. I needed a prop. So here's my prop. So you can think of this uh, bicycle metaphorically in any way you want. <laughs> But imagine that maybe somehow in your life you suddenly wake up and you find yourself, your goal is to be driving straight down the aisle of the church, but you find yourself swerving off somehow that way and you say this is not good and you <clears throat> create an intention to change and you turn the handlebars. Now, the thing about time lags is as I turn the handlebars, if I keep going forward, I'm still going off to the left. So the first lesson is there's going to be a time lag and you can't, uh, you need to stay centered in your intention, which is turning the handlebars and just have faith that later on it's going to manifest in the world. So we're still going off to the left. I keep turning it. Finally, I get the steering wheel to be turning to the right. Please notice that as I go forward, I am still going off to the left. I am turning to the right but I am still heading to the left. If that sounded confusing, that's what time lags are. <laughs> and so as you still head off to the left, you can get the feeling that maybe cause and effect does not work in the world because you've been turning to the right for a while and you're still going to the left and you need to learn patience. <laughs> Finally, we start getting around right and finally we're heading straight down the aisle again. But a few seconds later we're swerving off to the right. <laughs> and we start to turn and the whole thing can repeat itself. And the whole sign of a beginning driver is the car is swerving back and forth around the road. Um, you can watch it with toddlers learning time lags. Um, you can watch it with empires crashing. It, it pops up a lot. <laughs> and so after you swerve enough times, there's the third paradoxical lesson, which is that as you're starting to come around to what your goal is, and your goal is to get around to the right and go straight, you have to turn to the left. <laughs> so my homework for you is to notice when you drive home from church, every time you make a left-hand turn, your left hand turn ends with you turning right. And every time you make a right hand turn, your right hand turn ends with you turning left.